Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jay Integer, the guy that taught you to sound like Pika. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to sound like Boyfriend. On the Pika video, I've been getting a lot of comments asking for the Boyfriend voice, and I've always responded to the comments as, I don't know if I can do the voice, I don't know if Audacity is powerful enough. Well today, I kind of found a way cut to kind of get the voice. It's a lot better than what a lot of the other people's tutorials out there sound like. So today, I'm going to show you how to get this voice right here. So obviously it doesn't sound like much, but just from this little um, voice clips, you can probably string it together to make some sort of song. So like, I can probably stretch them out and see if we can get another style out of it. I, yeah, it's kind of different. You can kind of switch them around, do whatever you want with it. Cool. Okay, so we're going to get into how to do this now. Hey, it's Jay Answer here. I wanted to say that before we get into doing Boyfriend's voice, that one, see this video behind me? This is the collab video I did with my best friend Biggie Jules. We played the entirety of Resident Evil 8 and had a freaking blast doing it. We also collabed in later episodes with another best friend of mine, Raisin Brandon, who also has his own channel. We also played with our best friend Zach, who hasn't been revealed on our channels too much because he isn't a YouTuber, but he still had fun with us playing. So go check out episode 1 of Resident Evil Village on my channel, or at the link in the description below, and show some support for me, Biggie Jules. Raisin Brandon and Zach for our fun playing in the game. Also, regarding the voices, doing the voices for Pico and BF, um, they require a bit of finesse. It actually does take some voice acting work to do something like this. I, however, practice parroting voices and doing cartoon voices, such as Carl Weezer, Jimmy Smile, and Mervyn the Martian. So when doing these voices and following the settings that I have in this video, it's not so much that you should do exactly what I do, However, use what I do as a baseline for your own voice. There are so many different styles of Pico and Boyfriend and how they do these voices, and they're all unique in their own respect. So when trying to do these voices, make sure that you're willing to experiment with the settings to match your own unique voice. If you want to learn what I know about audio editing and you don't know what the heck any of this is, like what the hell is a hard limiter or what the hell is a compressor doing, leave a comment down below asking for tutorials on how do I set up Audacity or how do I tune these settings to match my voice. Or even if you want to learn video editing, I can teach that too. Granted, not in one sitting, but I'm still happy to help if I could do a series on learning how to do some of this stuff. Anyways, that's enough for me. Let's get into the rest of the video. So starting out, we're going to need a new blank, um, what's it called? Project for Audacity. And then we're going to go ahead and make a mono track. You don't need to make it, you can just hit record, but I use mono tracks, so go ahead and make one. So then we're going to start recording our first bit of audio. And when doing this, make sure you leave at least 7 seconds to 7 or 8 seconds before your audio so you can complete the next step after this. So I'm going to mute myself and then... Okay, cool. So now we have our bit of silence before the video. This could be have noise in it if you have a lot of background noise, but I don't have a lot of background noise where I'm recording. So it's going to be pretty quiet. But with headphones, you can hear a little bit of white noise if you're listening close. Beep, ba, boop, beep, boop, ba, da, boop, boop, ba, boop, beep, ba, boop, beep, boop. So I didn't know what to sing, so I just sang um, a song I heard from a Nintendo game a while ago. I forgot what song it was. I'll put it in right here. Okay, so with this, you're going to select this little bit of quiet part, and we're going to do noise reduction. And this is going to help us because the plugin we have, which is Caravy, -E, so make sure you download Caravy. -E, you can follow the steps from the Freck Shifter installation video. It's the same thing. Just download the DST. Um, I can show you where to get it. Oh, do I have to make a separate video again? Download the VST, download the program, and then extract all the things and then throw, throw it into your x86 Audacity plugins folder. It's the same thing as installing Freck Shifter. If I really need to make a video, um, put in the comments, I guess. It's not different from Freck Shifter. But, you know, I guess if you want it, I can make a video on it. So we're going to make a noise noise profile. There. So now we've, we told the computer what the background noise sounds like. Now we're just going to go ahead and apply this. It's, that's just default settings. Nothing new with that. Then we're going to compress it. This makes the audio fuller and then also makes it a little bit louder. So you can see it got way louder. And I like to do a little bit of EQ, bass and treble EQ. Um, same thing as the Pico voice, I have it for mine, if your voice is going to vary, same thing with the compression, your voice is going to vary if you talk quiet, if you talk loud, 
you're gonna have to find your own setting for this. Um, when I start editing, I can do um, an audio editing portion as well as a video editing portion. Because I want to do those tutorials, but that'll be in a later video. So, throw on my bass and treble EQ. And then... Oh, then I normalized it, because you can see a little bit of peaking right here, here, and here. So I normalized it to make sure it brings down the peaking. Okay, now we're going to get into the... going to get into the meat and the potatoes of this video. Then we're going to open up Care V. The care of it, you don't need to do it to the whole thing, you just need to do it to this portion. So we're going to select this effect, we're going to go into care of I use care of because, um, BB Panzu uses care of in his, care of in his video for FL Studio. So we're going to use it here. And so when you press play here, it's not going to apply this yet, but you're watching this graph right here. And we're going to look at it real quick. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at um, really what notes we use. So it looks like we use the bottom C's. We use this middle part a little bit. And we use a lot of this top part. To get that voice, to get the boyfriend voice, you need to play around with these notes to see which ones you like. And also these dials. So we're going to be messing around with these for a little bit. And I guess I can kind of show you what each one does. I don't know which each one does. So if anything, we're just going to learn together. Okay, that's a little too low. So let's try mixing up. Let's try this, this configuration. <laughs> Maybe you can cut that part out. I think that's just not usable audio anymore. Um... Throw G in there, let's take out F sharp. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like the other parts, it's just, we're gonna cut out that last burr. Uh, that's just not usable anymore. Okay, so, I'm not sure how much of this you need to copy, oh, whoops. But, you can leave this top part the same, uh, the natural robo... Boyfriend technically has a robotic voice. Someone's walking in my room. So you can leave this top part the same. I believe the tune speeds, how much the sound is waving, I guess. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, well then we're gonna mess with the format. I know that does something. What if we turn this? this... Okay, that did something. What if uh, boyfriend's voice is higher, so I'm gonna turn the format up. So you're gonna really want to play around with this stuff. Oh hey, dad voice. You kind of hear it in there. Dad voice? Question mark. Dad voice video coming up? No. Okay. Boyfriend has a higher voice, so we're gonna we're gonna stay in this upper region. Um, tones. Let's mess with the tones. Maybe that does something. Yeah, it just made boyfriend sound more pupus. We're, we're gonna leave that one alone then. Um, transpose. Maybe we can transpose it up a little bit. I noticed you want to de do these ones the same. Otherwise, it does sound a little bit funky. Hmm. Okay, well, well, what if we turn one of them off? Okay, now he's speaking in chords. That's I. Uh, try this one. Yeah, this one sounds a little better. Okay, what if what if we just crank them? What happens if we crank them? What if, uh, this sounds a little too harsh. <laughs> I can't keep listening to that brr at the end. I'm happy with that. I think that sounds pretty, that sounds pretty boyfriend. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna take that. Bam. Okay. So here's a trick that I learned recently. So you're gonna wanna make an, another track down here. Then we're gonna zoom into our other track. So 
boyfriend's voice doesn't have any of the human aspects, so like the breathing or anything. He just has the middle part, so how do we get that? Just select that middle part and copy and paste it down here. As easy as that. You get rid of the humanistic parts of your voice, and you just keep that like middle note that you make. Oh, but if you do make long notes, um, I'm not sure if you need a... If you need to select a certain part of it, or you can just take the whole thing. I don't think the boo is usable. Let's see how it sounds here. Okay, let's see how it sounds just without any of the other breathing or anything. Let's see how it's, what we got here. Oh, it kind of got cool in the middle. Hear that? Ooh, that sounded pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so... Um, now let's just mess around with this. I just have it in the pattern that I sung out. See, so you can kind of just like make your own smorgasbord of notes. Smorg smorgas? Smorgas? Hang on. Smorgasbord. Of noises and beat bops and beat booping. So, yeah, I guess if you want to try to make boyfriend notes or if you want to try to make your talking voice like boyfriend let me let me actually let's actually since we're here and not that i'm trying to make this video more than 10 minutes but um let's just try to see what that would sound like okay i just said some random random junk it'll be a surprise i'm gonna edit all this and i'll show you what it looks like even if it sounds really awful. You know, I always be beep bopping around, always beep bopping, skeep bopping, skeep bopping, doop boop 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 Sure, that, that sounds like boyfriend. I mean, if you, if you animated something or you made a comic, a comic, and you use that voice, I would know you were trying to do boyfriend. Especially, that means you watch my video. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So, I hope that hope to see you guys out. I It was kind of fun making this video. Leave a like because I did put up some quite a quite a, a, a damn it. I did put a large amount of research into this video trying to scrape together and learn audacity um, trying to learn the plugin and all the other settings to tune it to boyfriend. Again if it, it's depending on your voice a lot of people were having problems with the Pico voice. You know ev not everyone can go can Sound like me and speak in Pico's enchantment table. In fact, just a flex on him. I'll do it right here. It's kind of cringe that people don't even know how to do my voice. Like, what the fuck, man? It's easy. Just watch the video, man. I mean, like, it's just this easy. Alright, cool. And I'll leave you at that. See you later.